All right, in this video, I'm going to very briefly explain ratios as fractions. Uh, if we have a, a very simple fraction, this is actually saying, this is actually a ratio, okay? So you have to remember that when we write a fraction, we have the numerator up here, the denominator down here. And the denominator is telling us how many pieces all together. So if we have this circle here, all right, the denominator is telling us that there are two parts in the circle. This is part one, this is part two. All right? And the one, the numerator up here, is telling us how many of these parts we're talking about. So, for example, in this case, we're talking about this one, maybe. So that means that we're talking about one half, one out of the two, one out of the two. Well, that is also a ratio. That can be written as a ratio like this. One is to two. Okay, let's try another one. One third, if we use our drawing again and we have our circle and we split it up into thirds, okay, this again is telling us one out of three. There are three parts all together. There's one, two, and three. All right, and this is talking about one out of the three. So we color one of those in. All right, and that this part here is what this fraction is talking about. Well, that can also be written as a ratio. One is to three, okay? So, for example, if we had something like, uh, let's see, four is to five, that would be written as a fraction. That would be written as four fifths because it's saying four out of five parts, okay? Four is to five, okay? If we say nine is to 15, we can write that as nine fifteenths, all right? And if we have uh, two fifths, we can write that as two is to five, and if we have six tenths, we can write that as six is to ten. Okay? You have to remember that these are basically all two different ways of talking about the same thing. Okay, if we look back here, one is to three is the same is the same as one is to three one over three or one third because it's talking about the same relationship all right you're still comparing one uh, you're still comparing these two uh, these three pieces okay so I, I hope you understand that it's, it's very simple you can write a ratio like that and it can become a fraction like that that's all you need to really understand okay good luck